Hello friends, I'm so glad to meet you on yet another episode of Talk to Nirmala. Today we welcome Dr. Malvika Fulwani, who is a clinical dietitian and a certified diabetes educator. She's worked with more than 1000 patients who are diabetic and those who have other metabolic disorders to modify their lifestyles and heal holistically via nutrition. She strongly believes in let food be thy medicine. Let's talk to her and seek her advice. Hello and welcome Dr. Malvika. Hi, hi, Mimila Aunty. At the onset, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share my journey, my views on this platform where you are giving chance to women entrepreneurs to actually share their journeys and inspire other women, which is very important at the moment. Thank you so much. Welcome and it's a pleasure, Malvika, always to have you and talk to you anytime. How did you start your journey, Malvika? So my journey is a very, uh, like, you know, I always share my journey because it has made me what I am today. Since childhood, I wanted to be a doctor, but uh, unfortunately, I did not get good score in the pre-medical exams and everything. So I had to change my profession. I uh, did microbiology and then later, uh, as and how I got into uh, microbiology, I got to know about food and dietetics, uh, where also microbes play a very important role. So I did my specialization in food and dietetics. This also I took up because I have been a chubby kid since birth and have done a lot of diet uh, on and off on Google. Uh, You might have seen so many diets people keep doing. I keep, I do, I I did, I undid. What are the things I did? Then I said, let's go to this course. So I will help you too. I will help you too. I will understand you too. I will help 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 you too. But when I got into this field, I realized that diet and dietitians are not only for weight loss or weight gain, but diet plays a very important role in all walks of life. Like since the day you are conceived in your mother's womb, Till the last breath of your life, only one thing that is consistent is food. It's the food that gives you energy to walk, to breathe, to everything. And then I chose clinical dietetics. So it helped me get back to what my childhood dream was to be a doctor. Though I'm not a doctor, but I am working with doctors, helping my patients, prevent them from having various other diseases. So somewhere or the other, you know, as you always talk about law of attraction, the law of attraction have always took me to my uh, dreams. So that is what. It was great to know about your journey that you're not a doctor yet. You are a doctor healing people holistically. Yeah. What were your struggles, Malvika? Can you put a light on that? So basically, first and foremost uh, struggle for me was being in a tier two city that Nagpur is telling people the importance of diet has been very difficult. People used to say, Tum wo chart dogi, usme sab likke dogi, nahi, 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 nahi khana uske liye main kyun paise dunga? So, you know, people believe in YOLO. You only live once. So why to actually uh, say no to food that you like? But thanks to COVID period, it has been bad, but it has been a boon for a lot of people who have started taking care of their own health. And now they have made health their priority and they have started taking diet and nutrition very, very seriously. So that was one struggle. And the other struggle that I've come across is quacks. So basically anybody and everybody who has lost their weight via any stupid unshunned diet, they become dietitian and nutritionist and start giving diet plans to people then people are actually faced to, you know, different other problems. So this has been a struggle. The quacks have been a struggle for a lot of us. And, you know, I have come across a lot of problems because of these stupid fat diets. Nowadays, we are listening to so many actor, actresses losing their lives because of some liquid diet, some uh, steroids, some other protein powders. So this has been a struggle for even doctors because doctors are also not able to make them understand that uh, weight loss is not a one thing, quick fix thing. It has to be a lifestyle modification. But thankfully, people are now 
being you know watchful enough and they know what uh, qualification it's required so still a long way to make people aware but uh, these two struggles i have really faced in my life but thankfully things are changing and i really hope for a better future in 2 to 3 years down the line yeah i really agree to what you said like about covid it was really bad but yeah. then there is everything like there's a bad side and a good side to everything so yeah. it was in a way good for us and it was a definitely bad bad for so a lot of us <laughs> whatever you take from it yeah <laughs> so yes dr malvika how will your mission help a common person so my mission my company name is healthitude it says to embark on a healthy attitude towards life so at the start as i said i have done a lot of fad diets and i tried to lose weight and gain weight and uh, in the end i've learned that it's not about uh, not eating or only eating particular stuff is going to help you but it's a holistic diet so my mission to embark on a healthy attitude via your platform as well or i have taken a lot of various seminars with other ngos as well to tell people that eat well and exercise you know it's a 80 20 thing 80% diet and 20% exercise but exercise is a very important thing and if you are not able to lose weight you at least maintain your weight if you actually maintain your weight you carry yourself well aapko aage lifestyle disorders nahi honge lifestyle disorders nahi honge to fir baad mein aapko aur further takleefein nahi hongi so via these various platforms uh, i have tried to reach out to public i have given articles in various papers i know the print media is uh, fading these days but uh, i try to reach to common people as much as possible so that you know they try and you know they actually eat well because it's as i said it's one thing that is consistent and if you have energy enough you are energetic enough you can actually work out and burn those calories and be your healthy self again i reach out to a lot of girls uh, who are uh, body shaming themselves which is another mental disorder 90% of uh, women go through at some point or the other in their lives so i have these various ladies platforms where i talk about these things i conduct various challenges which are like 199 rupees or 299 rupees per 21 days uh, wherein i actually make a whatsapp group and try sharing positive ideas as to how you can actually you know talk to yourself and when there is a group of people they actually discuss same thing same ideas and this is my small uh, contribution to reach out to masses and help common people it's really interesting a whatsapp group for self love self love it's very important and i've heard you a lot on uh, radio also so yeah so uh, radio i have done two shows it was rj mohit mm-hmm. uh back then uh during covid times so he had once uh, he, he's a good friend he had asked me to give small tidbits how to cope up with covid and how to do diet during covid to improve my immunity knowing you yeah. being on radio <laughs> <laughs> yeah now this was a little bit of my things i have been actually seeing you as well on in whatsapp and facebook we belong to the same school so we have that facebook group as well i keep seeing your post there so i am really interested to know about hypnotherapy and who could no pono thing uh, you know there are i have seen on uh, youtube there are these four lines which help you cope up with mental i would like to know more about that open pono is a forgiveness prayer actually it's a hawaiian prayer yeah it's very difficult to forgive people on face you know we may understand we are not wrong maybe the other person is wrong but then we are drawn into the particular situation because we are thinking of it the energy matches and you are drawn into a particular situation which is whether right wrong we don't judge it but we are drawn into it and the situation that event goes really bad and you are facing certain problems so we understand that and we ask the universe to forgive that situation okay 
Yeah. So you ask the universe for, uh, like you say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. So you repeat this several times, minimum 108 times at a go. Okay. And, uh, yeah. It works miracles. This oh, is it? Appears, works miracles. You can use it for anything. Like, you know, if I go somewhere, like I'm waiting for a taxi and I don't get a taxi, I just do these prayers and from somewhere it comes. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Many times it has happened, you know, that sometime I was not getting anything and I just did the prayers and it was it just came from somewhere. Wow. Yeah, I just lose my keys. I keep it somewhere and I forget. And I just uh, start chanting these prayers and I just get those keys. Wow, yeah, wow. But uh, again, you should have faith for the belief in them. A lot of... Definitely, you should have faith, but as law of gravity works, you know, law yeah. of gravity is not a faith, it is a law. Yeah. If you believe it or not, if you jump, you will fall down. Fall down, yeah, to that. Believe it or not. So, this works. works. This is okay. a law. Okay, okay, okay. It does work, whether you believe it or not, not. You believe it or you're not, it will definitely work. Just go on chanting this in whatever problem you are. Just say, I take 100% responsibility of this situation. You don't have to judge whether you are right, you are wrong. If you have some differences with the other person. Suppose uh, we've had some event between us, like some hot talks between us. And like, it should be cordial. Like, I want to talk to you again. You are my friend and I don't want to end it badly. So I can think of you and say whether you are right or I am right, whatever it is the situation. You know, I think of you and I say, I take hundred percent responsibility of the situation that has gone wrong between us, and I'm really sorry. And please forgive me. Thank you, and I love you. Yeah. And I chant this for some time. You will call me, or some situation or something will happen that we'll talk. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so nice to hear that. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful technique, and it's it always works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's done wonders for me. If right, in a relationship, in your health, if you're having fever, you just hold the hand of the person and just go on chanting this. You will feel good in some time. And hypnotherapy is not exactly what uh, you've seen in movies or something like that. It's just rewiring your subconscious mind to think something. Actually, we just keep on thinking something negative always. And that forms a belief. So if you want to change that beliefs, you give certain ideas to your subconscious mind in a state of uh, peace and calm. And that goes instantly in your subconscious mind and a new belief is formed. Mm. That is actually hypnotherapy. Mm. And over a period of time, you go on repeating that Mm. twice, thrice. So a new belief is formed and the old belief which is wrong is Okay. So the situation in your life starts changing. Hmm. That is actually hypnotherapy. Okay. If you are not keeping well and you always think, no, I have a heredity. Hmm. I'm bound to have high BP. I will have high BP or my heredity is diabetics. I will have diabetes and all that. So that is at a belief level. So Hmm. we change that. Okay. Yeah. So that is done via hypnotherapy. That's nice. So good to hear about your journey, Auntie. Like it's, you know, it's an, an altogether different thing, but we are in the same thing. You know, people say that we, my parents have diabetes, so I might get, so I help them prevent them, uh, prevent themselves from diabetes by having a good lifestyle and you change the belief. Mm-hmm. So something in the same. Everything is on the belief level. Once you, like it's gone from your subconscious, the life changes. <laughs> so nice. So nice. So yes, Malvika, I would like to know if girls of today, like they want to be a doctor, like even I always wanted to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. Some yeah. things we could not be on that journey. So if they want to follow your, uh, you know, what you have done, your footsteps, your journey, like can you guide them or uh, tell them like what particular course they should go through or uh, where it can be done? This is a very interesting question because uh, as I already said, the quacks have been a problem for us. We have a campaign called Campaign Against Nutrition Quacks and Courses. So now it's not easy and not any Tom, Dick and Harry can be a nutritionist or a dietitian. We require certain degree and certain uh, study things, certain requirements to be a dietitian. 
so uh, first and foremost it's very important to have science in 11th and 12th especially chemistry during your 12th and then there are uh, various studies like you can do bsc in nutrition bsc in dietetics we have a college in nagpur where you get these courses or else if you have done bsc in any other stream then you have to do a post graduation diploma in dietetics and nutrition if you have 12th may chemistry it's very important okay post graduation in diploma in dietetics and nutrition or masters then there are various other specialized certification courses like i am a certified diabetes educator a melbourne trained uh, low fodmap dietitian for ibs irritable bowel syndrome so you know you can do these various whichever specialization you want to do so like i am very much interested in metabolic disorders that is diabetes thyroid and other hormonal uh, imbalances so i have done my uh, two three certification courses in these so these are things you can do other than that for the girls and women in today's thing not only doctor or an engineer works i have a group in nagpur called all ladies league and i am seeing girls doing amazing things in various aspects like you know art art me resin art people are doing paintings people are making poems people are into content writing people are mocs they are anchors makeup artists there is a lot out there for girls and women you just need to take one that and there is a wide world for the women if not a dietitian or a doctor if anybody requires any help need connect to any of these people i can definitely help get them trained and help them do whatever they want in future that such a great knowledge and so nice to know that you can help them so is yes, malvika are you satisfied with where you are today you are very young i know it's not a place to be satisfied but still and where do you see yourself in future to that anti i am not satisfied because i am my own competitor i keep trying to do things which help me break down my own records and reach to a better level so not satisfied but yeah i am happy as to where i have reached as of now if you see me 3 years back and if you talk to me today yourself might have seen a lot of changes in me i get to hear a lot of people telling me all of these things so yeah i have become a much better me but uh, i see a more mature a more grown up more uh, confident kind of a person in my future and uh, i want to keep breaking my own records reach out to people i want to work in research uh research in dietetics and food and nutrition reach out to type 1 diabetics so yeah there's a long way to go a lot of things to do but uh, still wherever i am wherever i owe a lot to myself and i keep wanting to take one foot step ahead and keep reaching my goals Yeah, you will definitely reach wherever you want to god bless you. you so any advice you'd like to give to the girls or the women of today one thing that i have learned from my own journey is you know you are your own stoppage like if you think you cannot do you won't do but if you think you can do you can reach out sky is the limit for you so as i said earlier as well you need to take that one step towards your goal and there is a wild range of things you can do but you actually take that step come out of that comfort zone reach out to people there are ample number of people who want to help you but come out of that womb come out and reach out to people be financially stable don't be dependent on your, uh, your parents your brother your husband have that you know सेटिस्फैक्शन uh, की अगर कभी कोई प्रॉब्लम होती है तो मैं अपने लिए दो रोटी तो कमाई लूंगी दैट इज वॉट आई वुड लाइक यू ऑल टू एक्चुअली लिसन टू एंड आई वुड लाइक टू इंस्पायर यू ऑल विद दिस लाइन थैंक यू मालविका इट वॉज सो ग्रेट टॉकिंग टू यू एंड योर व्यूज आर रियली गुड समेर ऑन द लाइन ऑफ वॉट आई डू लाइक इट इज अलिस्टिक अप्रोच इवन आई माइन इज अलिस्टिक अप्रोच एंड so it resonates with all that yes so i think the holistic approach has increased post covid yes it has and it was lovely talking to you same your aunty same, same i'm looking family. forward to interacting with you more thank you thank you all once again for giving me this opportunity thank, thank you. you it was a pleasure dear <laughs>